Hey scientists, let's take a moment to talk about a topic I really think you'll be attracted to. Magnets and magnetism. What makes magnets special is that they have a force called magnetism. Magnetism is an object's ability to attract materials like iron or to attract and repel other magnets. Magnets attract anything that has iron in it, or in other words, things that are ferrous. If you've ever played with magnets on your fridge, the reason that they stick to the fridge is because your fridge has a metal plate of steel inside the doors. Steel is a metal made by combining iron, carbon, and sometimes minute amounts of other metals like nickel or chromium. If you take your magnet and try to stick it to wood, a non-iron containing metal, glass, or plastic, your magnets won't work and they'll just fall to the ground. Magnets work by creating a magnetic field. This is when the electrons from the negative side attract the positive side. It creates a space that will attract protons or positive charges. There are two types of magnets. Permanent magnets that keep the same level of magnetism and electromagnets that use electricity to create a temporary magnetic field. Let's start with permanent magnets. These are all the magnets you're generally familiar with. Permanent magnets can be found naturally as rocks called lodestone, or you can take iron or an iron containing metal like steel and magnetize it by rubbing the metal with a magnet in one direction. This rearranges the metal's electrons to make it magnetic. Electromagnets are magnets that you can turn off and on. When the negative electrons and electricity pass through a wire, it temporarily creates a magnetic field. You can make an electromagnet pretty easy by taking a piece of iron or steel. For us, we'll use an iron nail. You can then wrap your nail in a bit of copper wire. We use copper because it's a really great electrical conductor. Then use plain coated wire to attach the copper wire and the nail to a battery. Once you complete the circuit, you'll have made an electromagnet. If you want to turn it off, you just have to add a switch and boom, now you have a controllable magnetic force. Electromagnets are used all over the place. MRIs at hospitals and doctor's offices are great big electromagnets that are used to look at organs and structures within your body. Doorbells, computers, electric motors, speakers, and microphones, and even huge crane magnets that you see sorting metal at scrap yards are all examples of electromagnets as well. They can all be turned off and on and use electricity to create a magnetic field. Let's pause and take a moment to look at some questions.